this one for me, come on, change up, see me, bro. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm a 10. A 10? Yeah. That's like flawless though. Yeah, I am flawless. You're flawless? Okay, so like, what? Like, let's be real this time. Mm -hmm. Alright, so like on 1 to 10, like for real, like realistically, what would you rate yourself? A 10. How could I ever forget you? Put up with my shit for so damn long. Boy just came up here and went on, crazy. Load me up, man. Jokes up, ski. Come on, man. Shout out to everybody that got these strands, man. You know, this shit really that, man. Kiss me. This is a nice little pack. I ain't even need all this. I'm gonna keep it solid. Like I'm their idol, and like they love, look up to me and shit like that. Like me personally, like. All right, welcome back to Hot Topics, y'all. Y'all already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into this story. Damn, another one. Oh shit, I'm starting to believe what the OG said when he said, being a rapper is the most dangerous occupation at first i thought nah can't be it'll be a soldier who joined the army and goes off to war that's a dangerous occupation because you're not guaranteed to make it back i'm talking about capo jim jones dipset jim jones said that and i had a conversation back and forth online with jim jones and he responded and he said, yeah, you choose to join the army and go overseas to war. When you come home, you don't have no war on home turf. Nobody's trying to hurt you. People, thank you. Thank you for your service. They have discounts for you because you're a veteran and all that. Being a rapper, most of these rappers are walking targets at home, especially in their city. Of course, definitely when they're out of town. And I thought, damn. But a lot of the times, it's the rapper's lifestyle that got him in a situation. Here's another one. Rapper P&B Rock was shot and killed at the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles restaurant in South Los Angeles on Monday. According to Eyewitness News, the shooting was reported at 1.23 p.m. at the restaurant in the 100 block of Manchester Avenue. Police say that the shooting was apparently committed during the course of a robbery. Check the details. The rapper was sitting at a table with a woman who everyone believes to be his girlfriend. Guess what his girlfriend did? She took pictures of their food. She posted it on social media, Instagram, along with their location. The victim, along with a female witness, were in the eating area at the restaurant when they were approached by at least one suspect who brandished a firearm and demanded property from the victim. Run your watch. Run your chain. It is said that he was wearing a Rolex watch and a pricey neck piece. According to the LAPD captain, Kelly Muniz, run your watch, run your jewels. The shooter then shot the rapper multiple times and removed his property and then left the location in a getaway car. I don't know if PNB Rock chose to not run his jewelry like, yo, fuck you, you ain't getting my shit. 
The shooter was like, oh, really? Pop, 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 pop. Took all his stuff after shooting him and left the location in a getaway car. The victim was transported to the local hospital and later he was pronounced dead. At the press conference, Muniz, who is LAPD captain, she at the time could not confirm who the victim was, but it already blew up on social media. And we learn that he was pronounced dead. And it was the 30 year old PNB Rock who was born Rakim Hashim Allen and is known for singles that include Fleek and Selfish, among others. I'm paying attention to a couple of things. I'm watching DJ Academics interview PNB Rock. I'm watching a couple of his videos. I'm listening to him speak. I'm watching his mannerisms. I'm listening to WAC 100 talk about coming out to LA, thinking shit sweet. Then I see him on DJ Academics interview talking about he go anywhere and he go to the projects with no security. DJ Academics said, you wildin'. No security? He said, nah, no security. I used to do the same shit. He was talking about people trying to rob him, sneak up on him in the streets. And he said he don't need security because he always on his shit. Means he's always paying attention. His guard is up. I have security. But I don't have security. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe he got a firearm with him. Thinks he could defend himself. Don't need security. He was convinced that, according to his words, quote unquote, niggas fuck with me. The streets fuck with me. I think he might have been a bit delusional. The streets don't fuck with nobody. The streets don't love nobody. I think that was rule 101. But you know, a new generation move different. There he is. Dead. Messed up thing is, in Roscoe Chicken and Waffles though, they couldn't have got him outside, in a drive-by, at a traffic light. Down the street, they got him sitting down, dining. Nice food. The food looked so good. And he got his girl over here chasing social media clout. Flicking it up. Pictures. Posting to social media. Now that's fine and dandy. But dropping your location. One of the worst things you could do. Is go to impoverished area. You talking about Los Angeles? You're talking about gang banger central. You walking around out there with somebody's some hard working person's whole salary for a whole year of work around your neck. House money around your neck and your wrist. And you think somebody is not going to come see you about that? And you have no security. These people don't know you like that. You not that heavy in the streets out here. You not Suge Knight back in the early days of death row. You're delusional. Well, all's well that ends well. This one didn't end too well. So now we lose another rapper. I just hope that the other rappers can learn from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that whole cliche. Yeah, it's the black community and we keep on killing our own. And there's so much hate and jealousy among us. We're like crabs in a barrel. We don't like to see each other become successful. 
We don't go ask them, can you show me how to do what you did? We don't sit back and observe them and mirror them and try to emulate, imitate, and make as much money as they make or build something for ourselves. There's too many of us out here that feel like once you get it, I can just come get it from you because your shit is my shit. Takers. Hmm. That's all cliche. But I hope. Because PNB Rock was rather successful already. He was making real money. He could have adjusted. Stop telling yourself that the streets love you. Stop going around bragging, talking about I don't ever, ever roll with security. That's a calling card for anybody out there. You talking about L.A.? That's for anywhere, though. There are street gangsters and hood ninjas everywhere carrying guns, willing to get dirty for a quick come up. I don't know how much his Rolex was worth, but let's say it was worth about 30000 You had $30,000 on your wrist. The chain, 120000 You have about hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on you with no security in the middle of the hood. That is known as gangland. Gang banger central of the world. And you've been making videos, putting them out online, talking about I don't ever roll with security. You're letting everybody know you can come see me, but it's going to be hard for you to roll up on me like this because I used to do what y'all do. Hmm. Somebody is going to test you. And they did. And he failed the test. It's sad. It's terrible. But I hope other rappers realize shit ain't sweet out here. I don't know if y'all got a little bit of money and forgot what it's like out here. You should know. Once you start getting that fame and once you start getting a little bit of money that there are jealous people out here of your own kind that would take your life away just to take your life away just to take your life away they're not going to go pawn your jewelry that they took off of you they're going to wear it they don't even want money for it in essence you're dying for nothing just because jealousy and hate stifling somebody and they gotta kill you to prove a point to themselves to make themselves feel better because we feel good when we stop each other from progressing that's some sad shit you heard what I said a lot of us feel good when we stop another one from progressing you feel like he's flaunting all his riches and his success in your face so once you stop it you won't have to deal with seeing him in the videos in magazines on tv out in person to all the big events out fine dining Because he's a constant reminder of how hard you're not working and how undedicated you are to your own success. And instead of buckling down and going for it like they did, you prefer to erase him. So you don't have to look at him and then feel so bad about yourself. Think about that. It's sad. What more can we say at this point than rest in peace to PMB Rock, Rakim Hashim Allen, 30 years old, dead, gone, never coming back. According to the news, the gunman, the shooter is on the loose. 
the car he was in fled in an unknown direction. Law enforcement doesn't even know if they went left, right, up, or down. Let's hope there are cameras inside of Roscoe's chicken and waffles that captured this guy's face and then can eventually lead to a swift arrest. Man, I wish PNB Rock just tightened up and thought better than this. Get you some security, bro. And you can't be everywhere like before the fame. You cannot be everywhere like before the fame. You don't see Drake going to Walmart to go pick up toilet paper and juice. You will never see him in your local stores. There's a reason for that. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below. You already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. Do you think his girlfriend set him up? And might have been working with people to get him robbed? I don't know. I gotta look into that. How long they've been together? Was this his real girlfriend? Is she from that area? You never know. It's a lot of snakes in the grass. And some of them, they don't hiss no more. They call you honey, babe, boo-boo. Say I love you and all that. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.